and welcome ladies and gentlemen to a new let's play with me sapphire 009 yes this is the one and the only the legend of zelda a link to the past so i'm gonna delete this save You guys just saw my real name. Or was it my real name, huh? Where's the L? I'm gonna name myself Link. So right off the bat, I'm not an expert Zelda player. I've played the games before, but I'm not an expert. And yes, yes, I do have cheats going on. Infinite rupees. And also infinite, um, dungeon keys. So, your basic intro. They could have just said, help me, my name is Zelda. I'm a prisoner in the castle. Please save me. I don't know why they had to be so precise about. Hmm. So that's Link's father. Okay. Like I need hearts. Lantern. <laughs> Short on magic power. So interesting, the way you get magic power in this game is through destroying the environment. There are tiny little satchels of magic. Clearly I don't have any here. <clears throat> but there are satchels of magic that spawn every now and then by destroying the environment. They refill your magic meter. So I'm not an expert at Zelda. Yeah, I'm not going through the front gate. <laughs> that, that would be suicidal. Go. There's a secret entrance. Yes, I know that. Couldn't be more obvious. There we go. Oh, Link. I didn't want to get you involved in this. That's what she said. Zelda is your... So... The father's dead, huh? Hmm. Okay. So right off the bat, I will say we have a cheat where, oh look at that magic, I will say there's a cheat that's activated where it's always lit up just to save time on corridors like this one. It would normally be dark. my wait come on eat my bush that sounded so wrong so <clears throat> if you want to farm around for a minute you know you can get some rupees around here some magic fill up your magic as well there might be magic around here never hurts to actually farm a bit but we don't need rupees heart pieces there is a section where there's actually a fairy around here 
I believe there's a fairy. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm not an expert at Zelda. And I can already feel there's going to be a ton of Zelda fans, for lack of a worse term, <laughs> raging. Calling me a noob. But that's fine. So I can still die, obviously. So, which way to go? I played the game for a bit, but... Just because I played it for a while doesn't mean I remember everything. for one. Try to save your magic as much as possible. I would recommend to do so. If you don't want to play with the codes, I recommend saving as much magic as possible. All this jerk face. So I also have unlimited energy, health, whatever you want to call it, just for the sake of this let's play, walkthrough, even. Because <clears throat> one of the problems is when, when you're trying to record a let's play or a walkthrough, you know, one of the problems is always dying and having to restart over and over and, you know, sure it's funny to watch someone fail miserably but you know you just want to get on with the game really it saves time saves my time it saves your time so that you don't have to watch me save state and load every two seconds we got the key we got the map as you can see we also have a infinite number of keys which is a total of nine keys It just saves time. I will be playing the game as it is meant to be played, but, you know, like I said, for health and um, rupees and the keys, you know, it just saves time instead of actually having to farm for hours. So, I'm coming up here, close to the area, I don't remember actually, you can't go into that room yet, until you get the key here, there's a key, should be a key, yeah, see. And your trusty boomerang. Like I said, I will be playing the game as it is meant to be played, even though I have every single key. <clears throat> so we're going deeper and down into the dungeon. I know there's experts that fucking let's play this, you know, speed run in five minutes or something. Eat my boomerang. Eat my boomerang. Is he dead yet? I got the boss key. I want my rupees first. <laughs> That's what she said. The wizard is magically controlling the soldiers. <clears throat> uh, yes, I understand for the purposes of continuing on. 
So he got the princess, and Link doesn't even get a kiss. Common rule is, if you save the princess, you get a fucking kiss. Um, so back to the first floor. It's pretty simple. So I say, huh. <laughs> basically just go back the way you came from. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dudes. Eat my boomerang. So yeah, I will be playing the game as it is meant to be played, even though I can obviously take shortcuts since I have the keys, but that wouldn't be appropriate. Whoa. That's a lot of guards. Secret passages, always good. <clears throat> Into the throne room. She is so in the way. Get up here. Just keep pushing, just keep pushing. <clears throat> Which way now? Like I said, um, this is normally a dark corridor, but because of the active cheat, it's lit up just for the purposes of continuing on, really. I'm not cheating to get, you know, it's just a way to get through the game in the shortest amount of time possible. You have to keep in mind, I'm recording. It takes up time and space. You know, a 20 minute video turns into 50 gigs. So, yeah. Just saves time. Not that I need the key, but that's where it is. More magic. There are actually benefits as well to lighting up every single room in some certain areas. After passing through these sewers, we will be very close to Sanctuary. I hate rats so much. There's magic in these things, I think. Yeah, there's some more magic. <laughs> Crabs. Got crabs. So we picked up that key actually. There's nothing there it's beneficial. <clears throat> Ooh, red rupee. 
So you see these spots. You can come back here if you have the um, the bombs, which I don't have. So I can't blow those up yet. For some reason, I can't push them. <laughs> oh, I did push it this time. <clears throat> Not that I'll die or anything, but, you know. Always good to save state. Oh, in the face, you stupid rat. <laughs> Pull that switch, right. So this is actually a trick. Do not pull this one. Pull this one. I know what to do. The other one is actually a trap. Tons of rats will fall over if you actually do that. Land of Hyrule. Magical powers. Master Sword. Right. Move. A giant heart container. Always good. So now what they want you to do is they want you to go to the village over there and find some ancient elder. Airy soldiers out to kill you. <laughs> Run, Link. I'm a thief, I can do this. <laughs> so I might try to keep these videos down to 20 minutes each, but probably not. Master Sword, who cares about the Master Sword? Gotta find the elder. If you go down there, there's a crap load of rupees. Don't need rupees though. So, what you wanna do actually, there's a kid. There's a kid that's sick, and he ends up giving you a net. Sure, I'll take it. So we got a magic bottle, which we will need. Chickens! If you ki if you hit the chickens enough times, they will get mad, and eventually they will come back and attack you instantly, no matter where you are. I don't know how many times you have to hit a chicken, but eventually I'll attack you at once. What's this? Select a thing you like to buy. What is this?
Can I get more bombs? Yes, I can. Oh, I can only carry 10 bombs at a time. Well, bombs are useful. There is a sick child that gives us a very, very useful item. Just gotta find him. Another bottle. Always good to have bottles. I don't know. There he is. So you talk to this little boy. And you get a bug net. So with a bug net, you're able to catch fairies and other flying creatures. So to get on with the purpose of the game, <clears throat> avoid that bitch. She will backstab you so fast. You can't ever catch her. So talk to this boy. There you go. He'll tell you exactly where to go. And it's pretty damn far. So, I'll just get there. Just keep walking. Stealing your signs. <laughs> A hammer. What does it say? So this is where I get the hammer, presumably. <clears throat> I will need a hammer eventually. I do not know who his partner is. Let's see. Unless his partner is a chicken, then that would make him a chicken lover. Which, that would turn into bestiality? That's not good. <laughs> so it's a trip and a half to go that way. big old trip and a half. Whoa, that thing just got me from over there. <laughs> nope. Link, you can't swim. So if you kill these guys, there's a chance they will drop arrows. And they did. <laughs> so they dropped arrows, that's a good thing. You need arrows. Squids, octopi, whatever you want to call them. Giant balls of ink. So here we are at the first temple. Pretty straightforward. Down you go. <laughs> so now we have to collect some Huh. A 
Okay. So that's where the old man is. But our objective is the temple itself. If I can't remember where it was, down there. Uh -huh. It's pretty easy. That's a trap. So what you want to do is down the middle. If you see both ways, dead ends. Press that switch on the floor and you're through. So, for the next video, I will take on the first temple.